Hi everyone, welcome to Church at Home. My name is Socrates and I'm so excited that you're here with us today. We are going to spend some time learning about some really special things that Jesus did called miracles. Miracles are amazing things that can be done only through God's power. Isn't that so cool? Sometimes God's miracles even made sick people all better. There's a story in the Bible about a sick person Jesus made better. When Jesus did a miracle for him, he thanked Jesus for what he did. That reminds me of the big idea for today. I can say thank you to Jesus. Let's say that together on three. One, two, three. I can say thank you to Jesus. That's right. There is so much to be thankful for. What are some things you're thankful for? I'm thankful for my family, my friends, and my church. Did you know that Jesus is the one who gives us good things? That's why we say thank you to him. Let's sing a song together right now that reminds us of how amazing he is. Stand on up and let's sing and dance together. Let's sing big and strong together. Can you guys move around? Good job. We're going to sing My God is Big and Strong. Let's sing it out together. My God is big and strong. Big and strong. He loves everyone. Everyone. My God is big and strong. Sing it out. Big and strong. He loves everyone. Everyone. God cares for me. I'm special. He says I'm special. God stands with me. He's there when I'm in trouble. My God is big and strong. Let me hear you. Big and strong. He loves Can you guys say hey again? Hey. Let me see you dance. Hey. Let me see those dance moves. And say hey. hey. Sing God cares for me. God cares for me. He says I'm special. He says I'm special. Great job, friends. Our God is big and strong. He is so powerful. And Jesus has God's power to do miracles that help everyone see how big and strong he is. We can thank him for the miracles and the good things that he does for us every day. That reminds me of a story I know when Jesus did another amazing miracle. It's in this book right here. It's the Bible. The Bible is God's special book for us. It is a book from God that tells us real stories about people and places from a long time ago. One of those stories is called The Thankful Leper. There's one man who makes a good choice after he sees the miracle. After you watch it, tell me what he does. Let's put on our listening ears and our thinking caps and find out more about it. Stories of the Bible. The Thankful Leper. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus did many amazing things while he was on earth. It's true. One day, he was traveling to Jerusalem and was going through a village when ten men who had leprosy came to him. Now in the time Jesus lived, 
leprosy was a terrible sickness that could be caught very easily. Because of this, people with leprosy were sent outside of the places that they lived. They were called unclean, and no one wanted to be close to them. Ah, gross! But when these men who had leprosy saw Jesus coming, hey, Jesus! they called out to him and said, Jesus, have mercy on us. And Jesus saw them and said, go show yourself to the priests. Oh, yeah, we in that. And as they went, they were healed and had leprosy no more. Whoa, woohoo! When one of the men saw that he was healed, he came back to Jesus shouting, praise God. Oh yeah, praise God. He thanked Jesus for what he had done. Ah, hmm. Jesus asked, didn't I heal 10 men? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give glory to God except this Samaritan? Looks like it. Then Jesus said to the man, stand up and go. Your faith has healed you. Thank you. And so the man was healed because he had faith and he was thankful for what Jesus had done for him. Wow, Jesus healed all those people from a really bad sickness. But do you remember what good thing one of the men did? He went to Jesus and thanked him for what he had done. That's right, he was so thankful for Jesus and the miracle he did to make him all better. We can tell Jesus thank you too, by praying to him. You can pray something like, Jesus, thank you for helping me not be afraid at night. Or, Jesus, thank you for giving me a friend at church to play with. Even the songs you sing can say thank you to Jesus. Do you think you can remember to say thank you to Jesus? Let's draw a picture to help us remember to thank Jesus and never forget this amazing miracle. Grab your crayons or markers and some paper because it's time to draw with Gus. Hi friends, it's me Gus. Today we're gonna draw the thankful man who Jesus healed from leprosy. Ready? Let's get to work. Okay, we'll start with two lines side by side in the middle of the paper. Then one little line across the bottom to connect those two and make his nose. Okay, then a circle on this side and one over here. Then add two smaller, darker circles inside each to make his eyes. Okay, now on this side, we'll draw a straight line, but not through his eye, down. Then across like this. And a little smile too. Remember, he was so happy and thankful. Next, we're gonna go back over here and draw something super small, a line like this. Then down, and all the way over. Now, go up to the line above and draw a short diagonal line like this. Then carry it up, up, up to the top. Okay, now go back to the bottom line and do the same thing. Up, up, up. At the bottom of that line, draw a little circle and two square shapes coming out of it. That's the tie on his clothes. Then we're going back up here by his eye. Draw an angled line toward the nose and then a short line going up over here and a long swooping line down all the way across like this. And make sure to connect it all to the lines next to it. Then go back over to the left and draw another line going up. And another swoop all the way back down. Now one more curved line all the way around like this. Whew, that was a lot of lines, but it looks great. Okay, what's left? Eyebrows. Draw one rectangle on top of each eye and fill those in. Oh, and finish up the nose too with a little line here. That looks great. Hey, thanks for drawing the man Jesus healed from leprosy with me. Bye. Your pictures look so great. Look, here's mine. 
Jesus did a miracle for the men who were sick with leprosy, and he wants to do miracles for you too. When you see or hear about miracles Jesus does, remember to be like the thankful leper and say thank you to Jesus, even if other people don't. Talking about that miracle reminds me of a special verse in the Bible that I am thankful for. I can't wait to show you this verse, but, uh-oh, it's covered in bubbles. <laughs> can you help me pop all the bubbles so that we can read it together? Come on, grab some bubbles, if you have them, and let's pop them. Okay, everybody, it's bubble popping time. A bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, wait. That's not a bubble, that's a bubble. Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles. Bubble popping party people, let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here and pop them out of sight. That's it, all right, all right, keep going, yay! We're almost there, we got the pop, exactly 23 and a half bubbles left. Okay, ready, go, one, two, three, keep going. That's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble, oh, too many peas, ah, <laughs> Pop them over here. Pop them over there, pop them on the ground, and pop them in the air. Pop them everywhere, yay! Whoa, great job! We did it, you helped me pop all the bubbles. Now we can see our Bible verse. Psalm 77, 14 says, you are the God of great wonders. You demonstrate your awesome power among the nations. That means that God's power is big and strong and awesome. And it's for everyone in the whole world to believe. We can tell everyone in the whole world all about it. Let's sing our Bible verse song together right now. Stand on up and get ready to sing and dance. This is Psalm 77, 14. Let's get dancing together. We're gonna sing, You Are the God of Great Wonders. Let's sing it out together. Here we go. I love that song. Oh, it's time to watch Play It Again. I wonder what Ariel and Gus are up to today. I bet they have some awesome videos to show us. 
So let's put on our listening ears and thinking caps and watch Play It Again. And I'm Ariel. And this is Play It Again. Ariel found some videos of his friends doing trick shots. Yep, Gus and I are gonna watch him and you are gonna get to see him react. Yeah, today's our last show and I wanna say a big thank you to everyone who's been watching. <laughs> yeah, that's great. You know, that reminds me of someone in the Bible who said thank you. Oh yeah, who? Okay, so it was this man who was healed from leprosy. Leprosy is basically just a really bad sickness. But Jesus made them all better? Well, actually, Jesus made 10 people better who all had that sickness. Wow, that sounds like a miracle. Yeah, Gus, it was. A miracle is something that can only be done through God's power. Mm. And Jesus healing those people was a miracle. Yeah. But the thing is, only one came back to say thank you. Oh, whoops. Yeah, but we can be like that one man and make sure that we can always say thank you to Jesus for the great things that he does for us. Huh. Well, I want to say thank you to Jesus for all the stories I've heard about while we've done this show. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely something to be thankful for. I want to thank Jesus for my family, my friends, and snacks. Mmm, <laughs> yum. Uh, I want to thank Jesus for my toys, uh, church, okay. and my tree house. Nice. But how do we say thank you to Jesus for those things? You no, know, Gus, that's a really good question. We can thank him by praying to him and by saying thank you. Or we can even thank him by singing a song that says thank you. Oh, well, I could do that. Yeah. You know what else you can do? What? Hit that button. Oh, <laughs> all right. All right, let's play the video. Hey, we got an awesome trick for you oh, guys to try. It's called the Q-tip. What are Cameron and Tabor going to do today? I think they're going to do another trick shot. All you need it is seems like with Q-tip. A Q-tip trick shot? Load the Q-tip yeah. into the straw like so. With a straw? Yeah, the they cup. load it in, and then he fires it out and so makes it in the cup. Oh, wow. To angle the cup okay. up to 45 degrees. What are you saying? Oh, we have to angle it. That's a good idea. Yep, I think it will help a lot. Whoa! Did you see that jump? Yeah. Cameron, are you ready? Loaded and ready. All right, All right we're loaded. Let's, let's do it. Go, go, go. Come on, Cameron. Oh, oh he got it. <laughs> and look at that replay. Listen to those horns. Wow. This is awesome. Wow. I want to see it in even slower motion. That oh, was so let's cool. Let's do it. Hit the button. Hit the button. Whoa. That wow. is some slow motion. Look at that. You can see the yeah. Q-tip in the air. Yeah, right into there. Whoa. Oh, that looks hard. Hey, that Ariel, does look hard. Yeah. do you think you can do that? You know what? I'm not sure, but I say we give it a shot. You want to see? Uh, yeah, but that means I have to push the make it real button again, don't I? Yep, you sure do. <sighs> okay, I'm going to hide under the table so I don't get attacked by Q-tips. Sounds like a good idea, and that sounds really safe. Let's yeah. try it. <laughs> oh! What? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Is this safe? <laughs> I think so. You ready to try it? Uh, okay. All right, let's yeah. do this. Here we go. I'm gonna you know, I think you're going to get it on the first shot. Okay, let's do it. Aren't those nice? They are super nice. And then we'll load one Q-tip in. Okay, and three, three two, two, one. one. Oh, I got it. I did it. I did it. That was a miracle. Wait, no, that wasn't a miracle because a miracle can only be done through God's power. But that sure was lucky. <laughs> Gus, I think you learned a lot about miracles on this show. Yeah, I did. And I learned that I could say thank you to Jesus. That's so great. Friends, thank you for watching Play Again with us, and we hope you guys had fun. We love you, and we'll see you around. All right, bye. Bye. Wow, Q-tips everywhere? <laughs> Those trick shots were so cool. But they're called trick shots because they're tricks. They're not miracles. Only God can do miracles. And Jesus did amazing miracles with God's power, like when he healed the man with leprosy. And when we do see or hear about a miracle, remember that we can thank Jesus like the thankful leper did. Let's say a prayer of thanks right now. Put five fingers here, five fingers there, and let's put them together for prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for loving us Thank you for the amazing miracles that you did and are still doing in our lives today. Help us to remember to say thank you for the good things that you do. We love you so much. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us for Church at Home. We're done with our time here today, but we have fun crafts and activity pages just for you. So just have your grown up at home help you go to saddlebackkids.com to check it out. Also, we would love to see you in person at one of our campuses. 
While your grown up is helping you look at those crafts and activities, check out our campus locations too. We hope to see you soon. And remember our big idea for today. I can say thank you to Jesus. Have a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.